live here at Las Vegas. We're live. In case you didn't notice. Anyway, just gonna wait for a couple of people to chime in. See what's going on this Friday evening. Anyway, good to have you back. You know, we got work to do. So we're gonna go and, uh, I was at Cosmo, just got out of the Cosmo. So now I'm at the Bellagio. We got all this thing going on here. Let's turn it around and over. I will be cutting out the first eight minutes of this segment. Hi. Hello. A mouse said hello to me. <laughs> anyway, back in the saddle. Get the show on the road. I had to get a new hat. That's why I'm doing this. I had to go all the way down. I'll show you the next video. It's going to be a whole big adventure. It's a hunter's, hunter's adventure. Oh, yeah. I also got my 10,000 steps in today. You know, I gotta keep it fitness. Anyway, 10,000, I promise. But, uh, it's 110 degrees out. Doesn't feel like it. Maybe it's 108. I don't know. I said it was supposed to be 110. But anyway, oh, look at that dog. Wow, look at that. Wow, red, white, and blue dog. All right. All right there. You freaks. All right, here comes some more freaks over here. Mm. All right. Well, Bally's is open. Hope they uh, tear down that part over there. It's kind of a uneventful shopping experience. Someone said, hey Jason, some Steve-O guy. Steve-O. Steve-O, do I know you? I don't know. Where's a good place? Any place to get wasted here in Vegas? You can go anywhere, man. Fremont Street's fun. I mean, if you, have to, if you like to have fun and just kind of cut loose and, uh, you know, be a little rowdy, Fremont's where you want to go, but you can go anywhere here. All freaks are welcome here. I mean, uh, you know, take your pick. Let's take another look over here. So I just came from Cosmo. I did a couple of different shoots at Bellagio, Cosmo, and then Caesars. I went to the Westgate and Lux store, so I made some rounds today. Uh, I'm doing a special video on sports books, like where to go, the biggest sports books, the best sports books. Obviously, Westgate's gonna be the largest, but not a lot of people like to go off strip, so I'm gonna do a little bit different. Uh, Hunter S. Thompson finds a sports book for you. So that's, that's the next video. It'll probably take me a good week to edit it. But yeah, they're shooting a reality show at the Cromwell. I'm not sure what show they're doing, but should be interesting. Anyway, anybody have any questions? Michelle, hello. I was just going to say hello to people. Dave, Trisha is back in the house. She's had a birthday last week. Happy birthday. Allison. Dave, I'm just gonna hang. I'm gonna hang out right here for a second. I'm just gonna chill right here. I'll put this on so it's not so jumpy on you guys. That way you can see in the background. Oops, my fingers in the way. I'm trying to read the. Uh... Ember is going to Vegas February. Ooh, whoa. 
All right, February's kind of out there. Should be good to go. Long drive. Uh, it's probably like a three and a half hour drive, maybe. If that. It's not a bad drive, actually. So, yeah. The yellow lady. Going now. Air for, for March. March is, yeah, all right, good. Yeah, everybody should be in the clear for September, October. Things will pick up again. Someone's a Knights fan. All right, man. Cheerio, man. Cheerio. All right. Orlando, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Someone's coming September. Oscar. Oscar's a, a new Patreon partner as well. He's a subscribe to Patreon. So I'll probably do I'll probably do the sports book thing on Patreon first. And then release it to uh, YouTube peeps. I, I'm the only guy that does Hunter S. Thompson around here. I've never seen any other person do the, you know, whole hunter thing. The whole fear and loathing in Las Vegas is quite fitting right now. But, yeah, it's fun. It's a funny movie. You ever seen it? Oh, yeah. Well, hopefully you guys are doing well in your neighborhood. I'm trying to set this up so it doesn't fall. Yeah, I walked quite a bit today, so I'm clocking in at over 10,000 steps, which is average. I think 15, 20,000 steps would be pretty good. It's like a fitness thing. Anyway, fit whatever you can in, right? The, the whole fit thing here, I'm holding a cigarette. I don't even smoke, it's just the Hunter Thompson thing. Okay, uh, someone from the UK just wrote something here. It's going to take me 10 hours to get to Vegas. I'm from, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 10 hours. Wow. People love coming here from, like, other countries and stuff. They really get a kick out of Vegas. Yeah, fear and loathing. Uh, Yeah, pretty much. That Salvador Dali movie, or painting come to life. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's funny and it's fun. So, all right. I dress up like this every time for Halloween too. We go down Fremont Street and just kind of, we do a whole like Macy's Day Parade kind of commentary on Fremont, me and Tiffany do. It's pretty funny. Anyway. I'm gonna pick up here in a little bit. I thought I'd stop and do a video here. Let's turn this around so you guys can see what's going on here. Whoops. Where am I at? Uh, oh, there we go. Sorry about that. But yeah, people are kind of moving around a little bit. It's weekend time, so all the Californians and Arizonians and Texans are all coming in. We got Caesar over there. I was just over there. Caesar's is packed. I got some photos of uh, Bacchanal, the remodel. I'll have to show you guys on social medias. Well, yeah, if you haven't joined us on any, like, Twitter or Facebook, uh, yeah, we post photos and stuff. Caesars, people hanging out over here.
Is that what they're filming? Love Island over there? Are they filming Love Island over at uh, Cromwell? Anybody? All right. Barbary Coast, yeah. I, I was never here when it was the Barbary Coast. But I've seen pictures online. Seems uh, pretty interesting. I think most of that is like a parking ramp up there. February, it uh, it can be cold here in February. It's touch and go. I would say definitely bring some warm attire. Uh, February's pretty cold. Let's get cold here, you guys. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, California dude, creeping in on. Vegas there. Anyway. Ah. Yeah, we had a busy week running around with Lucy. Lucy's her dog, or a little tiny dog. We have a really small little dog. Oh, ah, yeah. Uh oh, someone said bag. The uh, some guy that said fag, get rid of that guy. No one's a fag here. I love it when you do like a channel or do something on like a video, and the, all the um, people that are bored and have just a terrible mindset. We'll write and text like the weirdest negative stuff to people. And I really feel bad for you as a person. You're really like a, at a low point in your life. And I get it. Um, when you write those things to people, it doesn't put you in a favorable light. So I'm going to leave you on this channel and let the people decide what they want to do with you. Because really, dude, whoever you are you're a low person right now you have low energy and you're projecting it when you do that stuff you project yourself when you do that stuff and that's a really horrible thing so i really feel bad for you when you say that stuff and uh well there <laughs> take some of that but yeah start this Sun's starting to set over this way. Uh, I'm turn this around so you guys can see this a little bit. Sun's setting. So in about, I would say, I don't know, half hour, or it'll be behind the mountains. Anyway, let's go cut through Bellagio. Where's the coffee? No, coffee's not open. We see the scooter. Scooters are a popular item here. Well, I was in here earlier. Is that their sports book? Sports book here is huge. But I'm going to do like a sports book special video, like a curated video about sports books here. So that's kind of what I've been doing all day is uh, going around and getting some shots of sports books. And Hunter Thompson's going to do the whole shtick, so it should be fun. So let's turn this back around. So most of the uh, the shops and the um, restaurants are open. So they're opening things. As you can see right here. There's uh, Trish's, Trish's uh, purses and travel bags 
I'm not even sure what they call it. Travel back. Fendi's open. They they must have just put that stuff back. Well, that's, here's some shoes for you. I don't know. Would you wear those for three hundred dollars? Probably five hundred dollars. I have no idea how they make their products. Anyway, if you have to ask, you can't afford it. Is that what it is? That's fine. That's all right. All right. Woo, that sounds bright. But yeah, I was supposed to be searing hot uh, this week. Today's kind of the beginning of it. So, it's not that hot. It doesn't feel that hot. Unless I'm used to it, I just don't know it. Uh, we can look down on this stuff here. I'm not sure what's going on there. Lots of scenery that way. Absinthe might open up, be the first act, entertainment act to open up here. They do absinthe in this tent here. So, oh, there's a little doggy. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's small. Lucy would love that dog. Anyway, enough of the tent. Okay. This bar is closed, obviously. <clears throat> well, I'll show you guys like a secret. I'll show you guys a secret. I don't even know if you guys know this is here. But I'm coming up on it just a second. Mirage is opening August 27th. So that was in the news. I don't know if you guys heard that. Uh, Mirage, August 27th. The sun's reflecting off everything over here. It's kind of cool. Now uh, the bars are still kind of shuttered, but they're working around it. Um, just all depends on their on their operation and how they serve and stuff. But if it's just a regular bar, it's still closed. If it's a bar or restaurant, you're good to go. But a lot of places have opened here, so. Not bars, but bar restaurants. <clears throat> I did get some pictures of uh, Bacchanal. I don't know, did you guys know this was here? This little shrine. It's pretty cool. And their fountains are running. It's the four-faced Buddha under constant surveillance, just so you know. That's the four-faced Buddha in there. And I got these figurines and a little prayer thing. I think it's Hinduish. I know of Jacob. Uh, I don't know Jacob. I don't know him personally. So you can't toss coins at the shrine. They'll get mad at you. But you can put like incense in the thing here. They like to do that. <clears throat> but it's pretty cool. This will be in my next video too. I did a little segment here with Hunter. 
So, <laughs> gonna do some stuff with the hunter, see how it works out with you guys. It's a fun character to play, and uh, I don't know, it's just fun. There's tower, that's the, uh, oh, what tower is that? That's the uh, laurel tower, I think. Laurel leaf tower. Something like that. There's the absinthe dude. I know of the trooper. I've met trooper a couple of times. I'm sure he doesn't know who we are. Um, yeah, I've met him a couple of times. It was just real high by kind of thing. Um, but I don't, I don't think he remembers who we are. I have donated to his live stream before. But again, I don't even know if he knew who we were. He was just like, oh, thanks. Thanks, so-and-so. Not a big deal. Uh, we try to support one another here, but everyone's got their own thing going on. I bump into YouTubers once in a while here. Um, everyone's just kind of like, they, uh, they have their own thing going on, so I don't know. And I do too. Most people are not going to identify with the Hunter Thompson thing, you know. So, that's that. So, I don't know. Uh, let's see what else. Elaine from Bayside, Queens, I think you said it was. Johnny Madrid. Matt Smith. What times Bellagio Fountains? Uh, they go off variously. Uh, usually after 8 o'clock, every 15 minutes, I believe. Yeah, every 15 minutes after 8. Yeah, this is good out in Fremont. Hopefully that was good for you. The pro tips guide, yep, I just updated that. I'll do another update. I'm always, uh, you know, I found some new stuff. I'm going to try and put it in there. Um, but I'll wait a minute for it. I'll wait a week or so. I don't want to seem like I'm changing up too much. Yep, just sitting here. We're at Caesar's entry here. Here's where I'm just sitting on a little bench here, chilling. My legs are tired. Should get some water. So yeah, Hunter Thompson, fear and loathing. <laughs> yeah, the scooter people, uh, it's not a bad way to get around Vegas, but I don't know. I hear they're kind of uh, invading people's space a little. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. All right, Mark, how's it going? Glad you're on the stream. I'm just hanging out here, man, just chilling, trying to behave myself as Hunter. There's the uh, front ballet here. Always fun. Always fun to pull in ballet. And we've got this bar. Is that open? They did open it. Wow, that's open. Also, here's a nice little bar right here. You guys, they open this place. I'm sure it's like, you know, seating is a little spread out, but at least they're opening stuff and getting people what they want that's vegas you know they got to give people what they want here it's that's what it is no rules but we got a few my cigarette i put it down because it's like i'm trying to talk and usually when i put the cigarette in it's like hunter all right so there you go man Oh yeah, we're gonna ride this torpedo all the way to the end. How else would you do such an assignment like this, man? I was on assignment, by the way. I'll check out this right here.
There we go. All right. All right. We got uh, limited seating bar. But anyway, let's go inside. Are you guys curious? What's going on? It's pretty busy in here too. All right. Now, if you need a mask, there's one right here. And some sanitizer. I don't recommend the sanitizer, to be honest with you. You're better off using soap and water. Or wash your hands in a bathroom. But yeah, the lobby's pretty cool here. They got this cool fountain. People everywhere here. I gotta get my mask on. People, are, I'm gonna get in trouble. I gotta put my mask on. They will get you. All right. Sorry about that. So here's my hunter. This is the hunter mask. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of people gambling. Oops. Oh, there we go. Uh, a lot of people gambling, folks. There's a lot of... No shortage of that, for sure. See, they're already telling me to put the mask on. They, he needs a mask. This guy, he's bending all the rules. I can't believe it. All right, so they got a, uh, you know, if you're not a drinker, you got some coffee. You should get a water. This game, I don't know how many people play this game. This is like the losingest game ever. You'll never win. You'll never win. Uh, what was I going? Saturday, last Saturday, all these tables were busy. I know that. See, like this same game, it's the same game right here. That game, you'll lose your ass on. Sorry. <laughs> like this. This game is like, unless you put $1,000 in and bet on every single odd or wager, whatever you want to call it. But I don't know. I don't really gamble that much, but I do read a lot on what people are winning and losing at. Uh, I think casino.org has a good reference to all the Oh, here's Scooter Gang. Look at the Scooter. Look at Look at Look at See, see what they do? And you're better off just sitting still. Because they'll get you. <laughs> the scooter gang. I almost got... I almost got scootered. Scootered. I should make a t-shirt. I got scootered at Vegas. I ran over, basically. Uh, huge sports book. That's what we're looking at right now. Uh, and that's, that'll be my next video, guys, is all the good big sports books in town. I went to each one of them and filmed like what it looks like and what you can expect. So if you can't get tickets to an uh, arena game, you'll be going to a sports book or watching at a bar. You know, and with Circa being open, that's why I'm doing it, is uh, Circa is going to have the largest sports book. And so it'll overtake... Uh, um, Westgate. Westgate's the largest. There's, uh, Mr. Joe Lewis. Ding, ding. I would not want to get hit by this dude. No thanks. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. 
run me over. I'm so out of here. And they just run you over. Uh, busy. Casinos don't make uh, don't make a lot of money on poker, so a lot of them have shrunk them down their poker rooms. They're not very big anymore. But the slot machines are definitely no shortage. Just a sea of uh, mechanical digitry at your fingertips, ready to. Uh, Ready to uh, increase your dopamine levels and serotonin levels. Uh, and then when you're done, you're like, shit, where's all my money? The pub and grill's open. So uh, it's Gordon Ramsay's pub and grill. The pub and grill. I'm digging the new games, though. I like the new big games quick hits a popular game so here's Gordon's Gordon's fish sticks is that the same guy I don't know probably not look at that yeah just dump a bunch of money in and see what happens, really. What can you do? Oh, sorry about the shakiness. Uh, they did open Starbucks over here. Some of the, I think most of the food court stuff here is open. And well, it's, you know, it's summer and people are vacationing now. So they're like, yeah, let's open up some stuff. So they've got Starbucks, or wait, what else they got here? Starbucks, trying to not run into people. Try not to run into people. I don't want to run into people. Uh, so they have, All right, so where were we? Starbucks, barbecue place, taco, Walkin' Raymond, the Halal guys, Smash Burger, Earl of Sandwich, I guess, is pretty good. I've only had it once. It was good, actually. And the pizza place is good. You can't go wrong with pizza. You know, Brooklyn pizza thing. What else? And I did take a short stint in the mall. That was pretty busy today too. So if you guys are looking at Caesars for a place to commiserate, whatever, <laughs> uh, you can do that. You can do, you can do whatever you want here, but you can't kill anybody. You can't run people over with your car. What else can't you do here? Um, See. I'm trying to do this on the sly here. I don't want to get busted. We're in the food court now, but yeah, just don't kill anybody. Smoking has uh, dwindled quite drastically. I don't smell a lot of smoke in casinos as much. Um, so I think they're just going to do designated areas for smokers. So I think that's how they're going to handle that. Yup, that's what they're gonna do. Anyway, here I am in the food court. Uh, what else is going on? So I said Mirage is gonna open up August 27th. Um, what else? 27, something else going on too. I don't know when Park MGM's gonna open because they're the ones that are spearheading the uh, no smoking in the casino. So that'll be a smoke-free environment. Um, oh, I'm gonna do a dispensary uh, video too, guys. I, I went around and did some uh, dispensary shots. I wish I would've kept the first one because I did a complete Hunter S. Thompson with the dispensary thing. 
And I had to delete it because I got flagged for it. I wish I would have kept it because it was so it was actually pretty entertaining. Uh, not to toot my own horn, but Hunter's fun to play. You know, takes a little bit to get into the character. Oh, I know that that reminds me. I have to go to uh, the Golden Tiki. Have you guys ever been to the Golden Tiki? If you've never been to the Golden Tiki here in Vegas, go. Just try it out. It's fun. It's a tiki bar, and it's like it's like Disneyland tiki bar stuff. Yeah, it's a trip. I'm gonna turn around because all the action's right in front of me. So that way you guys can see behind me. There you go. <laughs> there, a little bit better scenery there. Uh, but yeah, uh, what was I talking about? The Golden Tiki. I'm going there after this stream and I'll take some pictures and video and all that stuff. Um, yeah, Frankie's Tiki Room is a little older. I mean, that's an old like tiki bar and um, I, I felt like um, golden tiki was just more of it just had more interesting shit on the walls and stuff you know um, more ornate and decorated to uh, you know all, all kinds of uh, kitsch kind of decorative it felt like you're in a like a Disneyland movie yeah is it haunted okay I don't know but I've been in the Frankie things, but yeah, it's in our um, top 10 dive bars video. Have you guys seen top 10 dive bars? I did a uh, top 10 dive bars to Las Vegas. And I did a Hunter thing to it. It was Hunter S. Thompson's in that, I think. Did I do Hunter with that one? Yeah, I think I did. Uh, yeah, check it out, it's fun. A lot of fun. I enjoy doing videos like that because I can like play off, you know, the character and just kind of make a fun thing out of it. Uh, yo. Oh, who donated? Somebody donated five, one dollar, five dollars. Let's see, two dollars. Joe, uh, uh, I don't even know how to pronounce your last name. Sorry about that. Joe. Carvalho, Carvalho. Joe Carvalho. Hope I'm saying that right, Joe. Thank you very much. Very kind. Uh, appreciate anything that anybody donates. My finger's in the way of the chat. Thing. Sorry, I'm all up in your grill with my big old mug. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Oh, Tiffany, my phone isn't working. It's not ringing. Tiffany's phone's not ringing. What's that mean? She wants me to call her. I can't call her because I'll sever the connection here. So I'll have to call it in a minute or so. <laughs> trisha has got a link for you guys. I'm not sure it's a, uh, oh, it's a Patreon link to, uh, yeah, it's a Patreon thing. And um, I'll deliver videos first. Uh, some videos I will, some I just kind of throw up there. But usually if I uh, curate something that's worth your time, I'll put it up there. And that's what I'm doing with Patreon. Um, and that's a whole different, that's a whole different platform than other than YouTube, I I feel that it's uh, different, but uh, very helpful to creators. I'm just a video creator, guys. I'm nothing. It's not like I'm making a movie or anything, or you know, uh, just more informational kind of stuff. Wow, it's busy in here. It's really kind of exciting to see a lot of these people here. Look around here. It's like almost back to normal. Add, add 100 more people in here to be back to normal. Most of it's just college, probably like a lot of bored college kids. Anyway, uh, Long Beach, California is in the house, Mr. Eric or Mrs. Eric, Erica or Eric, I'm not sure. Uh, so Long Beach, California. I love Long Beach. That's fun to go to. They have all these nice little shops and stuff there. Um, then the beach isn't bad either. Uh, Hermosa, I like Hermosa. And, um, it's more secluded over by the airport, I think. I think it's near the airport, LAX. Uh, let's see here. I wonder if I should get something to eat. I want to go home, but I've got another assignment to do. 
I know, I'm just, uh, I, I try to get as much in as I can while I'm here. So I'll shoot something and I'll think of something else for the next week and I'll go, oh, I better go over there and shoot that. Or I better go over there and, oh, Target's open, you guys. I forgot about Target. Their official grand opening's tomorrow. Maybe I should do a special thing on that tomorrow. I'm glad to have a Target here because you could literally come here with no luggage or no nothing and go to Target and get what you need. Um, that's what I would do. Like if you needed like flip flops or something. A tip is trying to call me. I can't answer the phone. We'll get cut off. Ah, let's see. Uh, someone's in Appleton, Appleton, New Jersey. I don't know where that's at. I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a hit the like button or the thumbs up button, whichever you see on your end. And uh, let's see. Uh, someone said, uh, "Go eat." Uh, yeah, I'll eat something in a minute here. Not worried about it right now. Someone said, "Walmart is." Better? Okay. Target's all right. Yeah, Target's okay. I, sometimes I'll go in there, look for a t-shirt, and I'm like, ah, everyone else is wearing the same t-shirt. You know what I mean? But Appleton, Wisconsin. Okay, that's where you're from. All right, that's good. Uh, I'm from Grand Rapids, Michigan. So I wonder how they're doing with the whole pandemic thing. This is so... I think everyone's getting sick of this pandemic. I know we are. We're just like, we want to get back to our normal lives and whatever we do outside of, uh, you know, YouTube and whatever. Mostly play with our dog, Lucy. So we have this tiny little dog and she always like sleeps with me, you know, and she'll nuzzle you, you know, all that stuff. But anyway, cute dog. It's fun to have her around. Let's just be a Tiffany. So we don't have kids. We don't have young kids. My son is older now. He's like 27. He lives in uh, Grand Rapids. So I do have a son. I was 19 when Curtis, uh, Curtis was born. His name is Curtis. Uh, sweetest kid in the world. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was tough being a single dad, I would have to say. Uh, but it was worth it. It was worth it. So any single dads out there, take care of your kids. It's worth it. Because uh, you gotta teach your, you gotta treat your kids well. Because when you get older, they might not be, they might not come around. So treat your kids well. And you know, when I say that, I mean like don't beat them and shit like that. Anyway. Uh, let's see what I, Trisha said. Did you see what I did? Oh, Trisha did something. I'm trying to figure out what Trish did. Let's see, uh, I gotta back up here. Uh, he said Target on the strip, Walmart, Target, Target, Target. But I'll, I'll do a little run through with you guys tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I definitely wanna go through that. I totally forgot about that. It's always like when you leave the house and feel like you're forgetting something. Every time I leave this strip, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Like I forgot to do something. Um, it's kind of the same feeling. Let's see, what else? Oh, Tiki Bar, I gotta get to that Tiki Bar. I wonder if it's open now. I don't drink, I'm just going there, you know, just to get some shots. So I don't like drinking here, um, cause I have to drive and um, so I don't drink. So that's the deal. Uh, I don't I know I'm not sure if I'll do a live stream for that one I'm pretty sure I'll do because I because they pipe in all kinds of copywritten music so it's just not worth for me to do a live stream what I'll do is uh, just record a normal YouTube video or yeah like a YouTube thing I'll just do um, do one of these anyway it's a GoPro Hero 7 it's a really good camera I'll just shoot a regular video. Uh, this is Caesars, you guys. Caesars Palace. And 
everybody's gambling. Everyone's eating right now. The pools are open. If you got a room key here, I guess you get into the pools, but that's kind of the rule for now. And what else? A lot of stuff has opened up, you guys. A lot of restaurants have opened up. A lot of, it's back, it's pretty much almost back to business except bars. And Park MGM is not open. Mirage will be open the 27th of August. What else? Uh, again, grand opening of Target tomorrow on the Strip, so that opened up. It's open now, the grand opening is tomorrow. So I want to get there because I think they're going to like, usually they'll give away something like a little trinket when you walk in the door. I don't know. I'm just thinking. Uh, but I wouldn't mind checking it out because if I needed something, I could quick pop in and, and they got like food. They got their normal food market there and typical clothing and uh, essentials travel essentials i'm sure they'll have all that. I'll, I'll get to that tomorrow but that's what i've read about it so far and should i get a pizza i should probably get a pizza it's an eight dollar pizza though it's, you know what i'm saying let's go check it out i want to see how much our pizza is All right, turn this around here. Sorry about that. So, let's see. The pizza, yeah, it's like eight bucks. New York style pepperoni pizza is nine bucks. Nine bucks. Uh, I'm a cheap bastard. And I just... Oh, thank you. You guys have pepper? I don't know, you guys. Aren't they have? I wonder if they have calzone. Cannoli, yeah, they have cannoli. Calzone, I don't think they have. No. Just keep it simple. That's all right. All right, let's go to Earl's sandwich. What's this guy all about here? Earl of sandwich. So Earl, Earl the Pearl, wait, we're still at the, what is that? Oh, that's still the pizza thing. Oh, oh Earl's is around the corner. <laughs> that's a whole different thing. Oh, they're not open. Uh, maybe I'm just not reading it right. Smash burger, pretty simple stuff here. I'm sure no one's interested in this crap, Ola. So, all right, you guys, I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna call this one good. It's been about an hour, so I gotta finish up my shooting and gallivanting around Vegas. A little adventure with Hunter Thompson. But thanks for watching this video. Definitely. Uh, you guys, whoever donated, thank you very much. Very nice, very kind. And uh, I'll see you guys definitely in the next video. If you haven't seen the video we came out with uh, today, there's a new video. It's uh, just driving down the strip and talking about a bunch of stuff on the strip. There's some new stuff on there, so take a look. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next video. All right, cheers. Bye-bye.